In James 1, verse 19 and 20, it says, Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry, for a man's anger does not bring about the righteous life that God desires. The battle of the tongue, that is a huge battle that we have throughout our entire life. We say things and then we wish that we hadn't, and sometimes we are always thinking of things to say, and uh, maybe those things aren't so nice. Here's what someone said one time, the battle of the tongue is won not with the mouth, but with the heart. God's Word instructs us in a very particular way, depending on the way that we are communicating. And many of us are communicating wrong. Well, here's what God's Word says. It instructs us to be quick to listen and slow to speak. And when it comes to the important job of encouraging friends and family, we are wise to listen carefully first and then to offer helpful words second. Perhaps God gave us two ears for a reason and only one mouth because we are to listen twice as much, twice as much as we speak. And this is something that is a learned gift because from the time we were very young, we want to be heard, we want to speak, we want to say something more brilliant than the next person. Well, it is through listening that real wisdom comes. Listening quietly to another person is sometimes the most powerful form of encouragement that you can give to another. Besides, after you've listened carefully to the other guy or gal, well, then you're more likely to speak wisely rather than impulsively. Today and every day this week, let us listen twice as much as we speak and Let's use our listening as a powerful tool to help us comfort others. And we will have an emphasis on hearing more from others than we hear from ourselves. And sometimes this will lead to a real aha moment of understanding. Sometimes your words you don't speak are just as comforting as the ones that you do speak.